Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Study at Ease. Today we are going to study the chapter Linear Equations in Two Variables. So, let us start the chapter by writing the general form of a pair of linear equation which is a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0. Now, in this a1, A2, B1, B2, C1, C2. All these are real numbers. In order to solve a linear equation, we have two major methods. One is the graphical method and the second is the algebraic method. Let us look deeper into the graphical method. In this, we are going to focus on three cases. So, Let's go ahead with the case 1. What is case 1 all about? It says that if the lines intersect at a single point, then it has a unique solution. Let us look at these two lines. We can say that these two lines are meeting at one single point. So it has one solution, which is a unique solution. So such Pairs of equations are considered as consistent pair of equations. Let's move on to case 2. Now, what does it say? It says if the two lines coincide, then they have infinitely many solutions. Now, look at these two lines. We can see that they are both are coinciding. Yeah, it is one above the other. So, it has infinitely many solutions. Even such pairs of equations are also consistent. Case 3. What is case 3 all about? In case 3, it is if the two lines are parallel, then the equations have no solution. Why? Because they are not meeting each other at any point. So, this is an example of inconsistent pair of equation. Okay, students. Let us learn something more about linear equations or a pair of linear equations. Okay. Interpreting the lines based on the ratios of the coefficients. What does it say? It just means that if a pair of linear equation is given by a1x plus b1y plus c1 equal to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0, then by taking the ratio of the coefficients, the following cases may arise. So, I'll be explaining this topic based on three cases. So, let's look at case 1. In the case of case 1, let us consider the equation x minus 2y is equal to 0 and 3x plus 4y minus 20 is equal to 0. So, I mark them as equation 1 and 2. Then, on taking the ratios of the coefficients, okay, so when I take the ratios, I get it as a1 by a2 is equal to, what are the coefficients of x? It is 1 and 3. So, a1 by a2 is equal to 1 over 3, b1 by b2 is equal to minus 2 over 4, uh, which can be further simplified to get minus 1 over 2, and c1 by c2 is equal to 0 because it is 0 divided by minus 20. All right. So, let us have a look at the ratios we obtained. It is a1 by a2, we got it as 1 over 3, b1 by b2 as minus 1 over 2, and c1 by c2 as 0. Now, a1 by a2 and b1 by b2, the two ratios are different, which means a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2. This case arises when we have intersecting lines. In the case of intersecting lines, we have exactly one solution. So, when we have a pair of equations, and if we obtain the ratios of the coefficient as a1 by a2 not equal to b1 by b2, that means it is an intersecting line. Let us move on to case 2. Now, in the case of case 2, we are going to consider the equations 2x plus 3y minus 9 is equal to 0 and 4x plus 6y minus 18 is equal to 0. 
I'm marking them as equation 1 and 2. Now, I'm going to take the ratios of the coefficients. So, a1 by a2 is equal to 2 over 4, which is 1 over 2. b1 by b2 is equal to 3 over 6, which is equal to 1 over 2. c1 by c2 is equal to minus 9 over minus 18, which is also equal to 1 over 2. Now, can you see something common among them? Yes, all the ratios are 1 over 2. So, when we have a pair of linear equations and on taking the ratios, if you are getting the same ratio, that means a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2. That means the, the pair of equation is coinciding. So they are coinciding lines and they have infinitely many solutions. Last but not the least, case 3. In case 3, we are going to take the equations x plus 2y minus 4 is equal to 0 and 2x plus 4y minus 12 is equal to 0. Again, what's the next step? Yes, taking the ratios. On taking the ratios, a1 by a2 is equal to 1 over 2. b1 by b2 is equal to 2 over 4, which is equal to 1 over 2. And c1 by c2 is equal to minus 4 over minus 12, which is equal to 1 over 3. Now, can you see something strange in this? Yes a1 by a2 and b1 by b2. The first two ratios are the same, but the last one is a different one. Okay, so a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2, but it is not equal to c1 by c2. So definitely, this is not a coincident line. And since the first two ratios are equal, it is not an intersecting line too. Then, what can it be? Yes, when a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 and not equal to c1 by c2, then it is parallel lines and there is no solution. So, let us summarize. a1 by a2 not equal to b1 by b2. What all points should we keep it in our mind? Yes, these are intersecting lines. Then they have exactly one solution and it is a consistent pair of equations. The next one, if a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2, then yes, it is a coincident line, then it will have infinitely many solutions and it is a consistent pair of equations. And finally, if a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 but not equal to c1 by c2, no, then it is parallel lines, it has no solution, and it is inconsistent pair of equations. So students, that's all for today. So in the next class, I'll be talking about the algebraic method in solving the linear equations. So stay tuned for it. And not to forget, if you like my classes, like, share, and subscribe. Bye and see you in the next class.